Alrighty guys, it is time for our first franchise mode of the year. I hope you guys are excited as I am for this. Uh, I, I, I love making franchise modes and it, I thought it was time to just make a new one. So we're going to hop right into it. That is right. GM Leifer is going to be the general manager of the Buffalo Sabres as you can see from the title and the thumbnail. The Sabres need some new management. They're, they have a good team. We don't know if we're going to be a contender. We don't know if we're going to try to tank for Bedard this season. But the Buffalo Sabres is a very good up-and-coming team. A very good young team that could win it someday. Rasmus Dahlin, Tage Thompson, Jeff Skinner, all the good players there. So divisions are staying the same. Everything is good. Owner mode is going to be off. NHL salary cap is going to be on. GM firing off. Head coach as lines, uh, edit lines will throw on, I believe. Um, we're going to keep Fog War on. Player morale is going to be off. CPU trades on and everything looks good to me. So continue here. We're going to be doing a 10-year GM mode with the Sabres and hoping that we can bring home a cup to Buffalo. As hey, They have had some tough times. So we're going to put the difficulty on to Superstar. Injuries will be on throughout the season. That's something I haven't done in previous years, so that should be interesting. Salary cap on. Trade difficulty will be medium just for the first time of the year. Fog war on. Everything else looks good to me, and uh, we should be good to go. So like I said, Buffalo, they have endured some tough times, some tough years in their franchise history. And uh, we're going to try to kind of just get them out of that slump that they've been in. Now, easier. It's going to be easier for us. This is not a bad hockey team. This is not a bad franchise. They have some very good key and core players to this team. Uh, head coach can help. Um, no. So let's turn that off. But they have some very key players. A young Tage Thompson who's doing very good. Uh, in real life right now, he is on the first line with Olofsson and Skinner, Okpozo, Cousins, Tuck, Vinny Hinestrosa. So the top six is a decent little top six. Bottom six ain't the greatest. Defensively, huge names in Rasmus Dahlin and Owen Power and the goaltending, not what we really need. So this first year is honestly, I think, is a year where we want to just kind of try and tank and try to get a good draft pick. Um, and maybe Connor Bedard, some other good players too. So we're going to be doing some very heavy scouting this season to try to get that huge pick. And then after that, we just kind of go from there. Uh, let's be real with the team that we have on paper right now. They won't be winning much. Let's be real with, uh, with each other here. Um, this, this team won't be winning a cup anytime soon. Uh, the bottom six, not the greatest, uh, defensively. Is probably our biggest strength, and even so, not really. And then goaltending just obviously isn't great with Craig Anderson and Eric Comrie. Uh, scratch, we got Peyton Krebs, so another young guy that we're going to throw down to the minors. Uh, Bjork and Casey Middlestad, who is not playing for some reason. We will throw him in there as well, uh, probably over Riley Sheehan. So let's throw in Casey Middlestad there. I kind of want him on that third line, try to get him to progress a little bit. We get that minus one in that line there, uh, but apparently that is a glitch this year. Uh, no, it's still minus one. So we'll just do that right there. Jack Quinn, 20 years old. I guess he's playing in the NHL. Uh, and then looking at our minors, we got Rooster Lion in. We got Malone. Um, we got Isaac Rosen, 69 overall to 19 years of age. No X factors on him, so we don't know what he's going to turn into. Lucas Rusick, um, no X factors on him as well. 23, 70 overall. So got some decent little uh, young prospects down here. Defensively, not so much. And goaltending, we got, we do have uh, UPL and Malcolm Subban, 23 years of age. We'll let him progress in the minors, and then maybe throughout the season, we'll bring him up here or there. God forbid there are any injuries. Anyone that's scratched here, we got Ben Bishop, a um, couple 21-year-olds here. Um, I think that Jack Quinn should be in the minors. Uh, 76 overall, 20 years of age. Maybe we just play him up here. Like, do we have anyone better that scratch right now that can really replace him? Riley Sheehan can play the left wing. Um, so that could definitely be something that we could do there. Uh, I, I kind of want to send Jack Quinn down to the minors, which I think is something we are going to do uh, as of now. So we're going to go to roster moves. We're going to throw Jack Quinn in the minors right now. I think it just makes sense. He's 20 years old. Uh, he is one way. Wow. Okay. So we'll throw him down to the minors, which is fine. I kind of want him to progress um, in the AHL. 
I think that just makes the most sense. We'll throw Vinny Hinestroza up to that third line. And then we will put back in uh, Riley Sheehan into that third um, to, into that third line. He's going to be playing left wing for the time being. And then we also have um, Peyton Krebs. 77 overall, 21 years of age, no X factors. Does he make this team out the bat? I, I don't think so. I think it'll be another case of him playing in the minors, to say the least. I want Asplin to play left wing as well. Uh, so maybe put Gergesen there and put Asplin up onto that third line. So we'll have middle stat, Asplin, and Vinny Henestroza. That looks pretty good to me. Our power play line is missing someone. Our power play line too. Um, okay, so Owen Power, who's on our first unit here? Rasmus Dahlin, Alex Talk. So we can put Owen Power... Dylan Cousins, do we want him on that first unit? I kind of want him on that first unit. Who do we take off? Oh, okay. Maybe maybe uh, Dylan Cousins is going to be on that second unit there. We'll put a defenseman. Maybe put Henry Yokiharu there. Minus three. That ain't the greatest. Let's see who else we can throw on to that line. Um, Vinny Henestrosa doesn't sound like the greatest. Tage Thompson, I believe, is on that first line. Maybe a K Casey Middlestat. Uh, minus two. Won't be too bad. Maybe throw him onto the center there. Actually, I think Cousins will make the most sense there. So we'll leave it like that. Um, let's head back down to the AHL. We did send someone down here. So who can we probably scratch? Maybe you, Byro, and put in Jack Quinn. And then maybe throw Jack Quinn onto that first line and call it a day there. Peyton Krebs, again, uh, is he someone that we use? Maybe we do use him. Maybe we throw him down. I'm not too sure. This is the good thing about this team is it's so young. And there's so many good players to use. Now, we also got Bork. He's 26, 77 overall. He's more of a depth guy. If someone gets hurt, we, we, we bring him in. Well, Peyton Krebs, he's 21, man. Uh, his role, depth forward, potential top six forward. So maybe we do play him and get rid of uh, Pet Petrika or maybe Asplund or maybe Okpozo. I know he is a captain. He, is that, he has that leadership role, but maybe... It's a contract. He's got one year left. Someone that we unload at the deadline just so he doesn't walk. I don't plan on signing him in the offseason. And if he hits free agency, we can always pick him back up. So maybe that's someone we get rid of the deadline. Um, so kind of like we're going to blow, not blow up this team, but like the, the people that are going to be staying on this team for a long time. Now, Jeff Skinner, five years left at 9.5. He's an elite second line forward. Do we want to be paying a second line forward that much? Maybe that's someone that we move out uh eventually Tage Thompson staying on this team for a while 24 years old one year left at 1.5 he's gonna want some good money Victor Olofsson as well uh 27 years of age five mil at two years I think that's someone we want to stay Alex Tuck obviously um the return that we got for Jack Eichel obviously a guy that's gonna be on this team for a while uh, other than that defensively Rasmus Dahlin obviously staying here he's got two years left at 6.3 he's gonna want a good contract and obviously, Owen Power at a mil, two years left, is someone who's going to stay on this team as well. Henry Yokiharu, interesting little guy here, 23 years of age, two years left at 2.6, just under 2.7. I think it's a guy that we keep. Labushkin is just a guy that you bring in year in, year out. Two years at three mil, maybe he's someone that we unload if we need cap. Um, Michael Samuelson, again, 22 years of age. He's got a potential to be a top six defenseman. Play him and see what we get. And then Bryson, too, 24 years old. Um, Potential to be a top six defenseman, but most likely to be a depth defenseman. So for the time being, I think this is what the team that we're going to be rolling with. I think we are going to send down Peyton Krebs, get him some playing time in the AHL. I think that does make sense. So let's go back to roster moves here and do that exactly. Um, now, if you guys have any suggestions, if he should be playing in the NHL, let me know. I think for the time being, we're going to throw him down into the AHL, have him be kind of that first line center. Um, and just kind of progress there, hopefully. So we'll throw him there. We'll throw him alone back to the second, and then that sounds pretty good to me. So Peyton Krebs, uh, Rustalainen, and Jack Quinn. Is Rustalainen going to be pan out to be anything? Top nine forward. So he can pan out to be something. Jack Quinn, 20 years old, still very young, which is good. So uh, I think as of now, this is what the team is going to be. We're going to roll with this team and just kind of hope for the best. Peyton Krebs hopefully will progress down in the minors. Now, uh, to propose a trade, I just want to see what the cap situation is. We have a lot of cap. We have a lot of cap. So, 
to say let's unload someone i think the only proper time to unload someone is if we want to get draft picks coming in so we also have savoy who i believe is he playing he's is he scratched in the ahl we're gonna have to take a look at that he's definitely gonna be a prospect of the future tage thompson's not anyone like none of these guys we really want to move here it's more gonna be a jeff skinner um more gonna be a not a victor olafson i was gonna say a labushkin for sure uh kyle Lock Pozel, but they have very minimal trade value so to trade for picks for these guys not really good now looking at our draft pick situation we do have our first overall pick our second we have a second from philly a second from vegas no third round pick so maybe that's something we go out and get a fourth a fifth a sixth and a seventh so we want to hold on to our first round pick again i think this is going to be a year where we don't do well we're just probably going to tank um so we're just going to get into it and see how it is we're going to probably simulate up to the trade deadline and see where we're at um that being said before we do that i want to see if savoy he is in the ahl and he is just scratched if he is that would have been a huge mistake uh so it doesn't look like he is he's probably playing in college unless he is in the lineup and i'm just blind i believe he is playing uh back in college or in the ohl whatever it is so um let's just get right into it we got a promising promising future to say the least with this team um, so we're going to just sim through the Puri season. We do have injuries on throughout the season, so it's going to make it interesting. we got the salary cap on, obviously. We're doing good, but I mean, like, uh, these teams aren't uh, starting their normal lineup. So they want to give us Braun. For Eric Comrie, we get rid of a third, and we get a fourth round pick back. I'm going to pass on that. Thank you, though, Philly. And other than that, salary cap is complete. Players on waivers gotcha. And we're heading into the season. So I'm going to go assign these scouts. To go obviously scout where they got a scout. We don't have the greatest overall scouts. That's something we're going to have to fix next year. Looking at our coaches, coach ain't the great either. So maybe a coach is what we're going to look for next year. But with that being said, I'm going to go uh, send out the scouts. This is something that's going to be long and boring that YouTube that you guys just don't need to see. So I will do that very quick and uh, come right back to you guys. All right. So we have sent out all of our scouts to go do the assignments for us. So everything is sounding good. We are up to the first game of the season where we were playing the Ottawa Senators. Now, like I said, we are probably aiming to tank. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get a good sim and we somehow just make the playoffs or we're middle of the pack. I honestly want to tank. And with that being said, like, if we do need to tank, that's where Kyle Pozo is going to leave. That's where maybe Zem, Zem, Zemgis Gergeson is going to leave. Riley Sheehan, players like that. Other than that, everyone is staying on the team. Um, and I think that sounds pretty good to me. So I don't think we're going to have a good year which is what we're kind of hoping for. I think the second year is where we're going to start trying to push for playoffs. So with that being said, we're going to do a little slow sim for the first game of the season just to see how things are with this team. So uh, let's see what we do. First period, 0-0 zero, zero game. Second period, 3-2. So there it is. Uh, three goal outbursts from the Senators, Giroud, Joseph, and Stutzla, and then Middlestad and Tuckett in their first of the season. So we're heading into the third period down one. That's fine by me. Let's lose this game. Like, we want Bedard. We want Bedard. We want one of the, at least like a top 10 pick would be pretty nice. Just someone that can help with the team. Maybe a little nice goalie prospect if we don't finish 1-2. Um, so we'll see. 4-2, Brady Kachuk makes it a two-goal game. Get a little power play here towards the end of the game. Nothing going. And the first game of the season is going to be a loss against the Ottawa Senators. Uh, three stars, Rue with a goal and assist. Tuck with a goal and three hits. And Kachuk with a goal and three hits as well so first game of the season is a 4-2 loss again not uh not really heard about it and Kyle Pozo is out with a broken nose until October 24th so not too long away so pretty much everyone's going to just move up one and uh, that's why we have Bork here again just in case of an injury he's in and he's good to go and then looking at the power play power play line two we got to remember to put um Kalok Pozo back there. So we'll throw Thing back here. We'll put Bork just for the time being. Not to, like, it's fine. It's fine. We're not really focused on the line. So he's gone until the 24th, which is a little bit, a little bit less than two week injury. So we'll go to the first here. Just sim the first month. Pozo's already ready to play. So that's good. Um, let's see if he's actually ready to play, though. I don't want to throw him in and he gets hurt again uh so let's see does it show where does it show where he is uh if he's still hurt or not I don't, does it not show it here i don't think so eh? okay we'll just throw him in we'll probably that's probably something we're gonna have to just check later but uh 
Let's throw them back in. So pretty much everyone just moves back where they were. Bjork going to be out of the lineup once again. And Kyle Lockpozo back into that lineup there. Okay, perfect. And let's continue sim the first month. And he's hurt again with a broken nose. So we'll wait a couple days next time. We're learning as we go here. Broken nose once again for Kyle Lockpozo. And we got to throw... Bjork back into this spot here. A little left wing and Anders Bork. Is Anders his first name? It is. Look at that. Me knowing things. Okay. Uh, central scouting ranks. We'll skip that over. Uh, we'll do head coach replaces player. That's in the AHL. Uh, ben Sherratt for a fifth, a seventh, and Malcolm Subban. Interesting little trade. I don't know how I feel about it, especially because we're trying to tank. Ben Sherrod is only an 81. He's 31 years of age. Probably a contract we don't want to take on. Uh, so I will definitely just say no to that, but thank you. Um, another injury in the AHL. Uh, we'll do edit lines manually. Clegg's got to come back in. I don't remember who replaced him. Uh, what position is he, Clegg? Clegg, Clegg, where is he? I can't seem to find him. Interesting. Is he already in the lineup? Yeah, he is. Okay, they put him in already. So I don't even have to worry about that. That's such a beautiful thing. All right. Kyle Ocposo is back. We will just hit continue for now. And uh, it looks like this is glitched out. I don't know what's happening here. Okay. We are currently 5-2-0. and oh. What is happening? Oh, my God. Oh, no. We lost our first two games, and we went on a five-game winning streak. Okay, let's get to the end of the month, and we'll throw our proposal back into the lineup. Okay, 5-4-0. Oh, that's more like it. A little worrisome there. We are fourth in the Atlantic. A lot of teams uh, just behind us, though. Crazy. I, uh, it was glitched, and I don't know why. So, let's throw... Um, let's throw our proposal back into the lineup. He should be good to go. And there we go. So, we got our full... Healthy lineup back after the first month. Again, 5-4-0. We were above 500. Um, looking at the stats, Victor Olsen's looking like he's having a little bit of a good uh, little run in that month there. Nine points in nine games. Skinner, 7-9. and nine. Middle stat, 7-9. and nine. Good for middle stat. Um, and Tuck, 7-9 and nine as well. Little minuses there. How's our goaltending doing? Uh, Craig Anderson, Comrie, subpar, which is okay. Again, we're not looking to win games, though, so a little interested in that. We'll go another month. Like I said, I think we're going to sim up to the trade deadline just to see where we're at, and then we'll gauge from there what we're going to do with the trade deadline. I think that's pretty good. Um, Eric Comrie to get a second-round pick from Vancouver, but we're getting rid of a third and a fourth as well. Doesn't seem like something too smart for us to pull off there, so we're not going to do that. We're continuing to lose games, which is nice. John Merrill, three years, 1.2 mil. I'm not looking to unload draft picks, though, so I'm going to decline that. Uh, we win a game there. Not ideal. Peyton Krebs is hurt until November 19, so we'll do head coach replaces player manually. Uh, a little win against the Bruins. I don't know what's happened there. Um, Peyton Krebs is back. Let's just make sure that he's actually put into the lineup, so he wasn't, so let's do that. Peyton Krebs back into the lineup there. We're going to have to stop the simming because the game glitches out for some reason when you do that. And we'll head back to the first of the month. Amateur scouts calling us. We put we sent them out for two months, so we're going to have to just redo it again once the two months is gone. Sean Malone is injured until January 8th, so he's out for a while there. We're winning games. I don't know what's happening. Henry Yokiharu has an injured foot and will be out until December 5th. So that one hurts a little bit. I don't think we have any defensemen up here with us right now, so we're going to have to call someone up. Uh, so let's go to roster moves. Let's call up a defenseman uh, that will have to replace Yoki Haru for the time being. So um, we need a right-handed shot. Pew, he's hurt. Um, Fitzgerald is our next best option. Maybe we just bring in Clegg and, uh, and then hope for the best there. So let's call up Clegg. He's probably going to be playing the right side, unfortunately. Um, unless one of our defensemen is a lefty slash righty, which does not look like it. So he's going to have to play the left side just like Samuelson. Labushkin's going to go up, so is Samuelson. And then we will bring in Clay here. And that'll bring a minus two, which is okay. 24, maybe throw... <sighs> I don't know what to do here. Uh, we'll just keep it like that. That's what the line's going to have to be for the time being. 
Um, now the AHL, we're going to just bring in a defenseman here. We'll bring in Elliott, uh, 24 years of age, get him some playing time, I guess. And then, you know what, we'll do, uh, we will do best lines. Um, and that is that. So there we go. Let's uh, stop the simming here. Uh, not a trade I'm interested in. Again, this thing's going to glitch out. Henry Yokiharu is back. We're just going to sit him out until the first of the month, which we have hit already. And we are 12-9-2 after two months, which I actually cannot believe. We are sitting in fourth in the Atlantic again, um, which isn't great. We're, we have 24 points. We are looking to tank. Henry Yokiharu is back, which is good. So w with that being said, is he still hurt? He is. Um, let me go to the injury report, see what it says, if he's actually ready to go or what. Uh, so where is injury report? Right here. And Henry Yokiharu, playable injury, injury to his foot, returning December 5th. Uh, but they're saying he's good. It's it's saying it's a playable injury. Um, so I guess we'll throw him in, meaning he's good to go. Um, and we'll send back down uh, whoever it was that we called up. I actually can't remember. So go to roster moves. And we are going to send down, I believe it was Bryson. No, it was not Bryson. We are sending down... I think it was Clegg. So we're going to send down Clegg, even though he went up and overall. I believe when we called him up, he was a 77. But we're going to send him down, and we will go back to edit NHL lines and throw back in Mr. Henry Yokiharu, substitute in all lines. And then we will bring back in... Uh, who did we... Was it... Who did we bring in? He went up to a 73... No, that's not. Who did we bring in for him? 15 games, 18 games, 18 games. Who did we bring in for him? Was it this guy? It might have been this guy. If it was, then whatever. Clegg's going to come back in and play first line minutes. And now the lines are all set up and good to go. So, holy, Jeff Skinner's having himself a season. 30 points in 23 games. Okay. Tate Thompson, 28 and 23. 26 and 23 from Olofsson. Uh, Jeff Skinner is leading us in goals. How is goaltending looking here? Uh, all right, Craig Anderson, what we're looking for from you. And then looking at our goaltenders in the AHL, how is um, UPL doing? 920 save percentage. He's still at an 80 uh, overall, but he is looking good, man. That's a, that's our goalie of the future right there in uh, UPL. So that's good to see. Um, and we will quickly simulate up to the trade deadline and call it an episode. It's probably going to be a little longer of an episode than I'd like it to be, um, but it's okay. So we're going to simulate one more month. The trade deadline is coming up. Um, so let's go one more month. Maybe we'll go two more months, and uh, and then the trade deadline, like I said, will be next episode. So we're at the first of this month. We're going to go to the first of next month and just hope that we keep losing games. So Tage Thompson's been injured until December 14th. Ooh, okay, he was doing very good for us, so pretty much everyone's just going to move up one, and then we need a center to come in, which will be Riley Sheehan, and then, unfortunately, Bjork's going to have to play his offhand, um, but that is okay. So there we go, everything's set up, Dylan Cousins getting some first line minutes there, uh, we're doing okay. Uh, we take a loss, another win, we're on a little two-game winning streak, we'll do head coach replace his best player there. Uh, Malcolm Subban... Get rid of a third and a fourth to get a second from this year. How are the Vancouver Canucks doing? Again, I don't think this is a trade I'm willing to make. The Canucks are doing decent. I don't want to get rid of two draft picks. Even though we're getting a second, I think we're going to just hold off there. Anders Bork has been injured with a sore knee. So uh, our depth forward getting hurt. So we're going to have to call someone up. And I think it's going to be Rusta Linen. Uh, so he earns himself that little promotion there. Doing well in the minors. So he will be our fourth liner here. Uh, injury bugs hitting the Buffalo Sabres, but you know what? It's getting our young players into the lineup, which is good. Um, we'll do best lines or no, let's edit the lines here. Kind of just move everyone up one in the AHL and then call someone up here. I guess Warren will get a little shot going there and then we will do head coach preferred lines for the time being down there. So AHL, NHL lines looking good. We're going to have to pause the sim here. Tage Thompson's back, but we're going to continue. Give him a couple days rest. 
Uh, so let's go up until the Colorado game, and then we'll throw Tage Thompson back into the lineup. Uh, decline that trade real quick. 4-1 loss. Bork is back. We'll just continue there. And a 5-1 loss there. Okay, so we're losing games, which is good. We still have a very good record. We are third in the Atlantic, which is kind of uh, concerning. I, like I said, I had a feeling we're going to be a middle-of-the-pack team, and it's what it's kind of looking like here. So uh, let's move everyone back where they're supposed to be. And then Tage Thompson is coming back into the lineup. And then, you know what? We'll keep... Uh, I think Gergeson Was Gergensen there? And then who was here? Who did... Who... Bork was scratched, right? So was Roostalainen. Okay, we'll keep it like that. We're going to send back down Roostalainen since he is not getting any playing time. So let's go do that real quick. Uh, where is he? Roostalainen. Send back down to the minors. And now let's go edit the lines here. Throw him back in the AHL where he was playing top line here. Uh, pretty much just got to send everyone down one that and then rooster line and coming back into that lineup did his job when needed in the nhl so thank you for that and we'll continue simming this month i'm a little concerned that we're not doing as bad as i thought so maybe come the trade deadline or maybe even earlier we start making some moves to ship out our good players um i think that would be um kind of just a good idea there because we are doing good owen power has a mild concussion he will be out until december 24th so that's another defenseman down. I don't think we have one up here that we can use. So we might have to call up a defenseman, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go do that. Uh, roster moves. Who's a defenseman that's been doing well for us in the AHL? Kind of give him a little promotion since there's been an injury. I guess Clegg would be our guy here. Um, yeah, I guess Clegg is coming back up to the team. He'll finally play the side that he wanted to play or that he does play. So that works out there. So let's throw him in. Pretty much Bryson's going to get some second line time there, some second pairing time, and then Clegg is going to head into the lineup there. Uh, we will edit the lines here and throw in whoever can play. Uh, right defenseman, we'll give you a shot there, buddy, and kind of just throw you on your side there. And that sounds good to me. We're going to have to stop the sim because it's going to glitch on us once again. Horrible thing that they just absolutely need to fix. It's actually kind of annoying. So keep simming here. Uh, Owen Power is back. We're going to give him till the end of the month. I think that's fine with me. Elio Bushkin's hurt now with a sore foot. So you know what? Now's the time to bring in Owen Power. Another defenseman getting hurt. So we'll put Clegg there. Bryson's going there. And then Owen Power back into where he's supposed to be. So that sounds good to me. 4-2 win. Uh, Samuelson's hurt now. That's another defenseman. And holy hell, our defense is taking a hit. We're going to have to go and call someone else up from the AHL. Uh, again, another promotion. Someone's going to hopefully take a shot with this opportunity. We'll call it Fitzgerald. That's our next, next best defenseman, which is actually insane. So not too much depth on D, which kind of sucks. But he'll be playing third line minutes anyways. And that looks good to me. Now the AHL is going to need some quick fixing here, which we are going to do very quickly. Throw in Elliot. And that looks good to me, all right? So now it's going to be the end of the month here with a glitched little thing. And last game of the month, and Samuelson is back. We'll just hit continue for the time being. Sean Malone is back as well. Hit continue there. And it's a 5 nothing loss. So we are 19-14-3. Like the Sabres, we're doing good. We're back and forth. Tied for third with the Red Wings. The Leafs are having a horrible season. Canadians too. Um, we're doing decent. And I'm not a fan of that, guys. Like I was trying to tank. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it is what it is. So if anyone's overall has gone up or down, doesn't really look like it. We have a defenseman back. So Samuelson will be coming back into this lineup. Just like that, and Clegg will go back down there, okay? And then who is scratched that we got to send back down quickly? It is going to be Fitzgerald, so let's do that quickly. Uh, go to roster moves. And we are going not uh, not uh, Rasmus Dahlin, that's for sure. Fitzgerald is going to head back down to the AHL and get some playing time there. So, um, yeah, I... I'm not sure what to do with this team. I thought we were going to be losing way more games than we're winning. 
Uh, we're going to simulate one more month and then we are going to call it an episode. And then you guys can kind of just give some input and help out GM Leafer to see what we can do uh, with this team um, to just kind of make it uh, where we kind of start losing some games and try to tank for a top 10 pick. So Rasmus Dahlin is hurt until February 8th. Um, so not a timely injury. We didn't want him to get hurt. Owen Powers is going to get first line minutes. He's up to an 83 now. Ilya Labushkin is back. So we'll throw Samuelson down there. And Ilya Labushkin will go back into that second pairing there. So that looks good to me. We still have a line that's not full. Extra attacker, Tage Thompson. And we'll do Dylan Cousins. And then shootout. Uh, we'll throw in Dylan Cousins here as well. All right. So there we go. Lines are all set up. Good. Darlene's out for a, a bit. Philip Myers, interesting little player here. 73 overall, 25. He's a depth defenseman. Two mil with a year left. Is he someone that we could pick up? I think he is. Yeah, with the way our defense has been getting hurt, but we have better players in the minors, so we're going to decline a Philip Myers. There's no point in taking him. Uh, we'll do head coach, replace his best lines there. Um, same here, hit continue. And we're losing some games now, finally, which is good. But we're getting points in some of these losses, um, which is actually crazy to me. Uh, Dylan Cousins is hurt with an injured elbow, and he is out until January 28th. So that's another huge loss, our second-line center. So middle stat, Gergensen will get pushed up. Do we have someone who could play center? Riley Sheehan can. And do we have someone up here who is scratched? Andres Bork, who will get back into this lineup. He's been with this team a lot uh, due to players getting injured. So... Uh, the lineup looks good there. We'll keep it going. Ooh, the trade deadline is coming up. gergensen has been injured, so we got to call someone up. That's another injury there. Uh, and I hope I'm not going to be simming past the deadline. Okay, so we got to call up someone. Uh, let's call up Peyton Krebs. You know, I'll give him a little bit of a shot in the NHL here. Um, I wonder how his AHL numbers were doing. He's going to be playing fourth line for the time being. Just until... Oh, no, Cousins is back. Okay, hold on. So Cousins is back, which means he will slot back in here. That's perfect. And we don't need who we just called up back. So let's go back to roster moves real quick. And we are going to send back down Peyton Krebs. Um, that's a little weird of a glitch as well. So let's go edit the AHL lines and throw Peyton Krebs back into that first line role. That was, that was weird. I don't know if that was just glitched out or what. Let's... Uh, Let's continue and let's stop the simming here. And we got to the first of the month. Or where's the trade deadline? Trade deadline is coming up. Okay, so no, we, I, I don't know. The, the menus are glitched, man. It's actually crazy. Let's go to the first of the month. We got two games back and uh, Cousins hurt himself again. Okay, so uh, now we're going to have to call up Peyton Krebs, give him that shot that we were going to give him before. I guess Cousins wasn't ready to go just yet. So everyone's going to move up one. I kind of want to throw him into the third line role and see what's going on. But Gergensen is back now. Okay, hold on. We're going to give these guys time to actually like recover um, before anything bad happens. Uh, we're going to move everyone up a line like that. And we're going to bring in Kozak. Looks good to me. And Gergensen is back. So we'll just hit continue. He'll be out until the, the, the last game. Or until next month, essentially, okay? So, uh, multiple players are back. So, we will edit lines now and see who is back. I believe Tage Thompson is probably... Or, um, Dylan Cousins is probably going to be one of those guys. Uh, so, let's quickly do this. Uh, Middle stash. Sheehan's going to go there. And then Dylan Cousins is going to go here. Uh, Sheehan's going to go there. And then Gergensen is going to go back there. Now, defensively... Uh, do we have our defensemen back that are hurt? It uh, doesn't look like it. So Dal uh, Dalene's not good to go yet. We're going to go back to roster moves quickly before we end this episode. And we are going to send down Peyton Krebs. He's on a one-way. Oh, I'm playing a risky game here. Okay, we're going to send him down one more time. No one claimed him, thankfully. We'll throw him back into the AHL. I didn't know he was on a one-way, so I was really, like, just kind of almost screwing him over and, like risking the chance of losing him which is crazy okay so now the ahl lines are all set up we got a full healthy lineup now and we're 
on the 1st of February. We are 22, 21, and 7. So we had a horrible month, which puts us back in 7th into the Atlantic, which is good. Looking at the NHL, the Devils are having a horrible season. Canadians are not having a great season. Are we are we in a top 10 pick? So let's see. Um, yeah, so it looks like we are. Right now, if the season were to end, getting a top 10 pick, which is good. That's what we were aiming for. Jeff Skinner kind of cooled down a little bit. 49 points in 50 games. Olofsson, 47 and 50. Tage Thompson, 44 and 44. So that's pretty good for him. Uh, so it's looking good. We're hoping to just kind of tank for a top 10 pick here. Um, overalls, has anyone gone up or down? It doesn't really look like it. Uh, Owen Power is up to an 83 now. He's a minus 5. Uh, but 6 goals, 8 assists, and 48 games isn't too bad for Owen Power. Henry Yokiharu is doing a little decent for himself as well. Um, and darlene has been out for a, a minute here. And goaltending, Comrie, 905. Craig Anderson, 901. How is UPL doing down in the minors? 910. 28 games played, 18 wins. Uh, decent little stats from him. Malcolm Subban having an okay year, but uh, we're really just staying focused on UPL. So we're going to end the episode there. Uh, trade deadline is coming up um next episode so i want you guys to let me know what exactly we're going to be doing for the trade deadline if you guys have any thoughts we have uh, a whole month to go and then the trade deadline is on the 4th of march so um i think realistically if we can unload players that we know aren't going to be here for the foreseeable future we unload them for picks or pr prospects and looking at this team who's that going to be kyle lock poso maybe Talks a guy that stays. Vinny Hinestroza, maybe. Um, other than that, like this team's young. A Gergensen can go. A Sheehan can go. Uh, a Labushkin can be a rental for a cup contending team. Um, goaltending. I don't really think goaltending is a spot where we can really trade one. Maybe Craig Anderson if someone's looking for a little decent of a backup and have Eric Comrie run the crease for the season. Um, so those are the, the three players, four players that might be on the move to get some young prospects in or uh, some picks in. So that being said, that is it for this episode. Next one, we hit the trade deadline and we try to make this team worse so we can get a top 10 pick. If you guys have any suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, my little scouts, hopefully you guys can help me out. And uh, like I said, that is it. We'll see you guys in the next one where Buffalo will be making some big moves come the trade deadline.